Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us again, the uh, third session of the day for our, uh, our online summer dojo. Uh, and we will be hearing from Jaden about adventures in enterprise Linux with uh, an OS tree. So thank you, Jaden. Take it away. All right. Hello, everyone. So I'm going, we have been working on this for a little while. We are, we have a OS tree distribution with CentOS stream packages ready to go. Um, so today we're going to cover a few things. What is OS tree? How we did it? And I'm going to show it off. Um, what even is OS tree? It's, if it, it's Git for operating system binaries, the operating system is one package or one bundle that is immutable you can't change the root file system. And we distribute this through OS3. We show, we'll show this off in a minute. The whole system is kind of like flat pack. It's kind of like a flat pack. Um, you're using, everyone's using silver blue, I see. Um, yeah, so if you've used silver blue, it, it's pretty similar. I'm going to quick show off here. This is our tree files. Can you guys still see us? Let me, it's like Key and Ike too, yes. We're gonna pull this down. Um, so every tree has this one file. This is common.yaml, or can I zoom in? Okay, common.yaml, it's, so it defines release server, some, some group information, the target, our post-process script, which is pretty similar to Silver Blues. Um, and all of the packages that are included in a very basic install. Uh, special thanks to Hyperscale SIG for ButterFS packages here. Um, using Kyanite on your gaming machine. And then we can also exclude packages and set them to specific architectures. Uh, we have different groups for different uh, things on the system. So here's fonts. Uh, I don't know why we include half of these. I think a lot of these are for different language supports. Um, here's GNOME. So this is all of the things that you'll see in a classic GNOME install. Uh, we got Totem, Tracker, et cetera, et cetera, all the stuff. A group, this defines group information. We had a little bit of trouble with this at the beginning. Um, so if we'll look here, here's root. This isn't a lot of information. Hardware, this is where we keep all our all of our drivers. We modularized it a little bit ago. Um, if you're missing, we're still trying to figure out how we can distribute drivers um, based on hardware configuration. But for now, we ship everything in the tree. Uh, we're, we're, you can override them, too, if you don't want them. But now we have everything. Um, we're working on migrating everything to a flat pack, so this, that's why this is here. And we're eventually going to be replacing GNOME software with our own uh, software app and our own settings app, too. Uh, this is passwords and the postscript. This is for modular stuff on Fedora. It's a little bit different here in our Fedora based releases, uh, which is here. It's a little bit different here because we have to work with modules. And then I'm going to show off the repo here. Let's go back to our browser. Let's, let's take a look at an OS tree repo. So in here, oh, that's RPM. So an OS tree repo is pretty simple. It has releases. This is the state. We can't really read these. These aren't really human readable, which is a problem. Um, so all of, we have three variants here. Core, which is just, it's kind of like Fedora Core OS if you've used that. Home, this is what you're gonna be seeing if you download one of our ISOs. And workstation is what I'm going to be showing off here. Um, what else can I show off to you? But it's so from here we have the we have this file. This defines the specific uh, ref. A ref is a is a different tree. It's a specific tree. And we define the repos here. We have base so we have base OS app stream CRB R repo with branding packages, some hyperscale stuff. And then we include these files here. So we tell the OS tree to include from here. And where's the browser? I did not prepare all of the things I'm going to need. <laughs> In here, 
here's our CI system. So we tell RPM OS tree to build from this from this file here, because this defines everything we need for a basic system. We tell RPM OS tree, hey, look here. It gathers all of our repos and installs all of our packages for us. You can see there's a lot of them in our enterprise Linux-based install. Oh my, I forgot how many there were. <laughs> oh, there's the end of the packages. Around a thousand. It's pretty. Uh, anyone have a copy of RHEL installed right now? If you do, it should match around the same number of packages as you have. But it installs them all to a single region that we distribute. Every installation of Tower West Workstation is the same as the next one. No matter where you are, it's the same in the root file system. You can add packages on top, but it's all the same. Um, we can show off here. All right, so let's switch over to our virtual machine here. Oh, this is very small. So this is, uh, let me fix our display here. Oh, no. I don't know why the display is so finicky today. Oh, no. There we go. OK, so this is the first boot of our only copy of Enterprise Linux running on OS3. So let's run OS3 status here. We can see this is, uh, this is Enterprise Linux on RPM OS3. Uh, where's about? All of our extensions don't really work right now on our on Enterprise Linux, but we are working on support. Um, yeah, we need. There's a lot of work that's needed here, but you can see get on version 40, and we have our working deployment here. We can make this bigger. I'm sorry, but this works. This is OS tree. This is Enterprise Linux OS tree. Um, this is not taking as much time as I thought it would. So does, does anyone have questions before we wrap, before I say anything else? Questions, anyone? There are a couple of questions in the in the Q&A. Oh, in the Q&A? Oh, I didn't know that yep. existed. Yeah, 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 click over from the chat. Does your cow anaconda configs use ButterFS by default? Uh, not at the moment, and we are planning to drop Anaconda completely. Um, what is this question? We're planning on dropping Anaconda completely, but the idea is to use ButterFS by default in for yeah for the root directory, kind of like what SUSE does. We, that's what I'd like to do with Workstation, at least. Home, we're still debating. Um, this keeps coming up, and the answer is always we're looking at it, but I've got a ton of RPMs that put stuff in opt, which isn't supported in OS tree. Any hope for plans soon? Um, so I assume you're trying to install something with Chromium or Electron. Um, it works, but it doesn't always work. I have, I'm have i not personally looking into this, but uh, let's confirm notify. I'm not personally looking into putting stuff in opt, but I think there's a fix coming. It's not officially supported, but it will. It does work. And I think we could eventually symlink it to somewhere else on the system. More questions, anyone? Um, you can throw them in the chat. I see Silverblue and RP. Yeah, we rebased from Silverblue here because we couldn't get our ISOs working today. That's We're going to have to work around with Lorax. We couldn't get the workstation ISOs. Home up. Home ISOs are working if you'd like to give us a try. You can find them on GitHub. Um, if you look here, if you go to our GitHub page, which is github.com slash tau-os, you can get our workstation ISOs from GitHub Actions. 
uh, they are home or home is fully working. Workstation does not work at the current moment. So if you want to get one of these and give us a try, please feel free. We got a ton of cool stuff coming and we'll keep you updated on Twitter. Um, any more questions from anyone? I'm gonna, any questions that can go away. Chat. Rebase from Silver Blue to Kyanite, which is an interesting to see it working. The rebase is really powerful. It is. It's super powerful. The only issue is configuration files. They don't get, or they will get upgraded, but they don't get downgraded as far as I know. So that's why we are having some issues with GNOME here. Our configuration files are dated for GNOME 42, and they don't really work well under 40. We're still figuring out how to remedy that so that you can go from Tau home to Tau workstation to try something out and then go back. But it's going to be a little bit of work because we don't want to mess with the home folder and OS3 can't touch it at all. Um, a respin. Tau is currently using CentOS stream packages. Uh, at the moment, our workstation variant is using uh, CentOS stream packages. Yes, it's a respin. Layered packages. Um, Layered packages can be an issue, and we'd like to use flat packs instead, if possible. We got another question. Anything we can do from the hyperscale SIG to make your life easier? We would be interested to hear about what works well and what doesn't. Um, right now, everything you guys are doing is wonderful. Um, and I am everything you guys are doing is wonderful. The ButterFS progs are great. The kernels are great. Everything is great. Um, would you consider using ButterFS for all of our variants? Uh, we'll have to discuss that at some point in the future, but it's a possibility. Uh, and tell us, what are our goals? We are intending to not build another distribution. We're trying to build a platform. So the idea is you can, all of your stuff will be synced across all of your devices. We're trying to do like an Apple level of integration between devices. And we'd also like you to be able to deploy and uh, test on the same platform. So everything is the same across the board. Um, we're also working with our designer, who is shouted out here, Lanes. We love you. Uh, we are doing a toolkit, LibHelium. You can check that out on our GitHub. We have a few apps written in it, if you're interested. Um, it's kind of similar to Granite, if you've heard of Granite, but is more modern, I will say. We It works with Vala and Rust at the moment, I believe. Um, and the recording, want to say more about Tau? Uh, yeah, please check out our Twitter and... We'll keep updating there. We have a lively Discord server, too, if you're interested. Um, but to circle back to Neil's question, we are intending to build an ecosystem and platform and not just another distribution. Um, any more questions? Anyone? Uh, would you be interested in bringing these things like your platform stack into Fedora Epil? Uh Possibly. Libhelium, I'd like to upstream. It really depends on what the rest of our team wants here, but um, some things will go up to Epil Fedora, but some will stay in our repos. Uh, there's chats here. And our and our overlord would be open to it here. Um, I was looking forward to the recording on this. See, yep, RPM OS3 is a great piece of software. The layering is what brings it ahead. Yeah, some parts of our distribution will be coming up to Fedora. Other parts will be staying with us. All right, well, if nobody else has any questions, we are good to head back to the hallway. Uh, Sean, what's the procedure? Yeah, branding would stay with us and a few other, and settings app and catalog would too. Great. All right, thank you, Jaden. Um, yeah, we'll just head back to the uh, hallway track. And um, we have a board AMA scheduled for a uh, quarter after, so half an hour from now, uh, which mm -hmm. is its own session. Um, we can always move there early depending on the... Um, you know, hallway track activity. So right. uh, again, thanks, Jaden, and, and uh, I'll see you on the hallway track. Bye. Thanks, Sean.